Hi everybody, it's Mianza. Um, this morning has been really rough because I've been crying all morning. <laughs> I'm gonna cry now. People always talk about how isolating it is to be neurodivergent and I don't think that I can ever stress that enough. It's like I'm constantly fighting with myself so I don't even have like a safe space within myself to return to when I'm overstimulated. Like I just don't ever feel like I, I feel safe within myself and I never feel like I can give myself the validation that I need or the support that I need. I think like the most isolating part is like when you realize that for your whole life you've been struggling and you were never like validated for what you were going through or like all the signs were there but there was a lot of neglect in your life so nobody really like took in how much you were struggling and then like you realize that your whole life you've been trying to raise yourself and trying to emotionally regulate from a brain that's like like hasn't been able to and now I'm like 25 and I'm exhausted of having to take care of myself just to like get through a day and then it's like I'm so exhausted, but I'm 25, so I have to be an adult now, and I have to be the person that takes care of myself. Because then if you're not, like, doing the things that people tell you you should be doing at, like, a certain age, you feel so different and disgusting, so you keep trying to compromise and compromise, and you just realize, like, the voice of disgust from all the people around you. And even when they tell you that they're not judging you, you know that they are because there's like tiny remarks that are made and you hear it and you feel it and it's like that sensitivity to like the rejection of yourself, not only from like the people around you, but just constantly rejecting and neglecting yourself. And it's like you keep trying to make up for it and I just, I hear it all the time just how disappointed and how tired everybody is of me constantly changing my mind. <laughs> like, I have never had a stable brain. Never in my life. I am always changing my mind. Every day, like, it's not even like day to day, it's every few hours. I'm just like, maybe I'll do this, maybe I'll do that. And it's like, am I doing it because I want to do it or am I doing it just to show other people like maybe I think that I have a purpose maybe I think that I can do this maybe I think that like I can be something for you I can be more for you I can be that dream person that you want and it's like like you can't because you aren't taking care of yourself so you're trying to be something you've never been able to reach. You just hear the exhaustion from everybody around you. They tell you that you're they're not exhausted and somehow like them saying that just makes it worse because it's like I know that you are and you're just lying to me and then I feel more childish because you're just trying to make me feel better and I don't like want that. And it's like they, they tell you like over and over again, they understand and that they're there for you and that they know you struggle but then sometimes like it just breaks and you just like see it like they're just like I don't know how to help you anymore. Like imagine how I feel having to live like that for the past 25 years and just now like coming to terms with the fact that I'm neurodivergent and I've been struggling for so long and thinking that I was just so fucked up. And imagine just like having to be the person living in that brain that's constantly changing, that's constantly like, maybe I'll do this, maybe I'll do that, no I can't do this, no I can't do that. I have no confidence, I'm overconfident, I know who I am, no I don't know who I am, I know what I want to be, no I don't know what I want to be, I want to do this but I don't want to give up this. And it's just like, this constant just like battle and then like realizing it 
at 25 and how I said like now it's like you have to take care of yourself but you're so exhausted from all the years of just trying to take care of yourself and trying to be normal and trying to fit in and trying to be that person for everybody else and you don't even know like where to go and it's like like the people in your life care but then like when you start to talk about it very deeply it's like oh you're faking it try harder you have to focus you have to do the things that you say that you're gonna do and I'm so tired of you telling me what you're gonna do and not being able to do it and it's like they don't know like how much I str like it's like I wish I could explain how much I struggle like how much I'm, I lay in my bed and I'm just like, just do it, just do it, just fucking do it. And I just get like paralyzed and if I start doing it and I, I like lose that confidence along the way, I'm already like done. And it's like, I try to push myself and I, I try to do things to, to motivate myself, but I lose it so quickly and it's like, once it's gone, like it's gone. I love being different it's my favorite thing about myself but there's just something that when you're around a bunch of people that just aren't like you and don't think the same way as you that the difference becomes something that it's not tolerable unless you're alone and then it's like when you're alone you become more isolated and more lenient with yourself and you allow yourself to get away with things so you have to surround yourself with people and it's just like a constant just build up of like stress and just like this environment where you feel like you can't breathe like everything is constantly closing in on you I was so scared of like trying medication for so long and then I was like you know what like I just want to feel normal so I tried it and I felt worse I felt like not only am I different I'm more aware of it and I feel worse about myself because I don't feel like myself. Like I don't know how to switch between being passive or being like full overdrive and either one being like self-care for myself. Like I don't know how to make it where I can be a balance in the middle because my nostalgia and passive things become so detrimental to me and then I think like I have to over focus like I have to be something and then I get into that mode and I just I don't have the mind for that like I'm not I'm like a I'm not able to focus so then it's like I beat myself up in that stage and I keep flip-flopping between the two of them and because I I'm not really able to reach that middle ground I'm constantly just in this state of stress and I, I'm and the only time I ever felt safe and I ever felt like normal and functioning was when I started self-medicating and it became dangerous. Like, I never know how to just care for myself. It's like my body's just always in this state of like, people are going to leave me and I'm going to abandon myself and I need to be something and I, I want to be more and I want to be, I want to prove myself wrong, but I just keep proving those negative things about myself right and if I do prove myself wrong like if I do something good for once I'm like okay well that's just one thing I just want to be able to be like more for myself and I'm trying like and I feel like I I can like there's so many moments where I can see that positivity come out and I try to be more positive and I have like this like self-care app that's like a little bird but it just feels like I'm trying to survive like it doesn't feel like I'm progressing and in my head like I have so many plans for myself and this beautiful future that I could have for myself and it's so attainable if I was just able to focus you always think that when you're older things are gonna get better but when when things go untreated for such a long time and it's all you know it's like how do I start getting better when 25 years of my life all I've known is this constant state of suffering and reaching out and never getting the help I needed so going back and suffering and I the craziest thing is that I know that I've grown so much I've grown so much 
in my emotional intelligence and being aware of how I feel and so many things but it's just like how do I push myself to get to that step where I'm living the life that I know that I can live like how do I get myself there I never feel like I'm okay enough and I think like that constant fear that I'm disappointing everybody around me and that I'm constantly failing them and that I'm constantly changing my mind and it's bothering them but they don't understand how much it's bothering me is like the worst fucking feeling in the world it, it just it tears you apart and it just it strips you down to nothing and it's like I'm just constantly struggling with my identity and who I am and what I want to do and who I want to be and who I want to be for myself and who I want to be for the people around me that it's like I just feel completely wiped and honestly I'm just exhausted I hope that I can just get out of this like, phase and even just for myself, just be kinder to myself and be more stable within myself and more stable with the love that I have for myself and not let it become the love that I was always shown. YouTube is my passion, like I love to dance and I love to transform and talk and be vulnerable and it's always been my passion to be an entertainer like I love to entertain and I love to make people feel seen and I love to make people feel heard and I love being vulnerable to a point that I never have been able to before because there's so much connection in this like I see the comments and I reply and people message me and I reply and there's just so much connection and I just feel so much love Thank you from the bottom of my heart to everybody that leaves comments and leaves encouraging comments and loving comments and comments where you're relating. That's always been my love and everything to me. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I just feel so... F my heart is racing. I don't know. <laughs> See you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.